Hey guys, what's up? It's Codemaster here, and we're back with another C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use vectors inside C Sharp and how they work inside the Unity editor. So let's get started. So I have already opened up my C Sharp script, and if you forget how to do that, you go to Unity, and you double click on stuff or whatever you named your script, and it'll open up in Modern Develop. Now, uh, I'm just going to create a different section from all the publics and create something called a vector 2 is one thing that we'll be learning today and the other thing that we'll be learning today is a vector 3. So I'm just going to delete the vector 3 part because we're going to be focused on vector 2 so we can just leave that there and a vector 2 can only hold two values which is the x and the y value as you see here inside the Unity editor, um, the x and the y value with vector2 has to be in 2D mode. If we go into our canvas and click on the play button, and if you guys don't have any of this or don't know what this is, go to my Unity Basics playlist, and we created a start menu. So that's what this is, if you don't know what it is. But this play button, uh, the positions at 0 and 0 and 0, but if we go to the how to play button, um, the position's at zero on X. That's because it's centered, but on Y, it is a little bit lower on the Y position. But of course, on Z, it has to be zero because it can't go back and forth since it's in 2D mode. So if we come back to our C sharp script for vector two, it is a 2D vector. So it only has the X and the Y position. So I'm just going to name this vector pause or pause because um, that's short for position and I just like naming all my vectors that or well you're going to have to name your vectors different things because it can't be the same type of vector. Okay so right here if you guys want to know how to set your value of what your vector is and show it in the console log you just have to type in um, pause because that's what we named it equals new vector 2 bracket and then let's just say 1 f because we have to put it cut the f because it's a float if you guys haven't seen my video about variables it talks about floats in there you guys can go check it out it's in the c sharp series but it says float x even here in the box so it's got to be 1 f and comma that's our x position there. Now we got to do our y position. So I'll just do that 2f and then bracket semicolon. And then now we can do something called debug.log. It's going to be new to you guys. If you guys don't know how to use Unity, debug.log is pretty much any numbers or words that you want to show up in your console area. So that's what this is. So after you type in debug.log with capitals and a bracket, type in pos.x bracket semicolon and then debug.log bracket pos.y. Now what this is going to do in the console is going to show you the position of pos.x which is the vector2 position x which is 1f and in the console, it's going to be showing you the Y position 2, which is 2F. So if you control S this script, you come back into Unity Editor, wait for it to recompile, and then press play. Um, down here, this bottom line here, there's going to be some writing in the bottom left corner. If you click on it, see it says 1 and 2. This is the X position and the Y position. And these are the two different vectors of vector 2. Okay, now uh, we're going to have to open up Modern Develop and we can create a new vector called the Vector 3 and I'll just name this POS2 for Position 2 and you do the same thing pretty much just type in POS2 equals new Vector 3 though bracket and we'll just put in like 5f comma and like 7f comma for x and y but now you have one more float which is the z float 
because in the Unity editor here, if we come out of 2D mode, which is a 3D mode, we can have the X, Y, and Z positions. See if I right clicked here and created a 3D cube. We can delete this after because we don't need it, but zoomed into the cube. As you can see over here, it says position is 309 on the X, 39 on the Y, and 333 on the Z. And if we come into Mono Develop, it gives us a third option to write a position Z. So I'll just say, like, ours was 333, so I'm just going to put that 333, or I'm just going to put, like, 63F, and then bracket semicolon. And then we can do a debug.log statement again. Debug.log bracket. And you can say plus 2.x bracket semicolon debug.log bracket plus 2.y uh, bracket semicolon. And then we can also do a debug.log bracket pos 2 dot z and now um, if you control s your script come back into your unity scene and then after it recompiles and loads you can press the play button and down in the console here you can click on it and scroll to the very top this is your vector 2 positions the 1 and the 2 now it says 5 7 and 63 because over here in your modern develop scripts those are your three numbers and those are your yeah your three float numbers but now you can just clear your console and that's how to use vectors and don't forget if you want to make them public and access them from different scripts all you have to do is put public in front of them and if you don't have public in front of them it's just automatically default to be a private so you can't access it from different scripts or different positions or anywhere outside of mono develop so except for your console if you use debug.log that's pretty much it so let's just do a review if you come back into 2d mode and you zoom back into your canvas and I clicked on my let's just say my shop button my X is on zero but if I change it to like five as you can see in this game view, it changes. I'll put it to 50 and it completely changes. But that's the X position with vectors. And this is for vector 2 since it's in 2D. So that's the X position. And then in the Y position, it's position minus negative 90. If I change it to like 80, it moves around. And that's your Y position. But the Z is at 0 automatically because on... Um, 2D mode, it can't go back and forth as if I'm just going to set these back to regular positions. And then if I go back into un 3D mode and double click on that cube right here, as it shows that the X position has numbers, the Y position has numbers, and the Z position because right here with this blue arrow here, it can move back and forth. And the X position is left and right, and Y position is up and down. And I showed that in an earlier video in my Unity Basics. So if you guys want to learn how to learn the basics about positions and all these components over here, go check that out. But in 2D mode, it's going to be Vector 2. If I just come back to my panel. And in 3D mode, if I go back to my cube, it's going to be a vector 3, just like in the scripts here. Public vector 2, pause. And public vector 3, pause. And you guys can instantiate uh, new vector 3s whenever you need to. And apply them to certain objects. But we don't need to do that right now. But if you guys don't know what instantiate means, I will be teaching you guys how to use that in script later on in this series. And... That's pretty much all for now. If you guys liked, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to go look at my other, like, go check out my other playlist. It's called Unity Basics, and it teaches you, so far I have 
how to make a start menu like this here, how to create a bunch of different scenes if you're not if you're wondering what's in this project. And we added some stuff to the stuff script there and we added this font. So just go check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see you guys next time. Bye.